not a visual poem this time, but I have a letter for you. I wrote it, and I'm going to read it. A letter to you. Hi. I did not successfully reach 4,000 YouTube watch hours before the deadline, but that's okay. I know many of you put your time and hope and laptop battery into this, lol, I'll tell you how much I love and appreciate you in a second, and I'm so, so sorry. I hope this doesn't disappoint you too much. I was briefly disappointed myself, but more overwhelmingly inspired. I'll tell you why. For 20 some days, family, close friends, people whom I haven't spoken to consistently since middle school or high school, or even just the past two years since graduating college, relatives I haven't seen in half a decade, and many, many others have rallied around, supported, shared, engaged, and gathered next to something I love so much, digital content. While well, I expected the last few weeks to be about reaching a goal, staying in the game, and sharing my passion, it's become about so much more. I've come back into contact with so many familiar yet distant faces, chatting about more than just these videos, but about life. The human race is quite incredible. I was listening to a podcast a few weeks ago, it was Oprah's Super Soul Conversations, aka My Lifeblood, where Queen Oprah interviewed an author named Sebastian Younger. He talked about how the world has become more miserable. Not one generation or the next. He didn't call any one type of person or a specific group. He spoke about how the feeling of belonging and the state of happiness has slowly declined across time in this country specifically because of a crucial element of our life. It's slipping between our fingers as we become a more individualistic society, and that's community. We no longer go to our neighbor's houses to borrow a cup of sugar or milk. We hardly even know our neighbors. We divide ourselves by signs and yards. We don't talk to each other in line. We avoid people in the grocery store. Sebastian talked about his time as a journalist covering a war abroad. The most impactful observation he experienced was watching military men and women in the field having each other's backs. They had an untouchable camaraderie because they were all fighting for a common goal, for something they love, even if just for a moment. When Hurricane Harvey hit Houston, people were out on the streets looking to help rescue their neighbors. In the news, a man said it was the most exhilarated he felt in months. Why? Because it simply feels good to help other people. Clearly, my circumstances are less dire and extremely different. But with that being said, I want to thank each and every one of you, seriously, each and every one of you, for taking time out of your own freaking lives to help me. I'm so extremely touched that I'm actually moved to tears while writing this. I was moved to tears while writing that. I sometimes make videos for personal purposes to document my life and look back on it. I'm learning to feel less guilty and more unapologetic about that, and so should other creators. You know what I'm talking about. But I also aim to create something for the bigger whole. To me, that's what's important. And that's what we all need to get behind. YouTube is not the community it used to be. I've been doing this since I was 12 years old and I've watched it evolve in some ways and shrink in others. I'm not mad at YouTube for this new change. In fact, I'm grateful. It's brought me closer to my fans, new followers, and so, so many of you. This change, whether the company anticipated it or not, is bringing the bottom half of the divide even closer together. We're turning to each other and rooting for each other so much more. For those of you who think I'm kicked off YouTube forever, this is not true, and I'm sorry if I led you to believe that. I was making a funny title about being evicted from YouTube. I'm not getting evicted from YouTube, per se. It's just that I'm no longer able to monetize my videos right this moment until I reach that 4,000 hour fresh threshold and will not have access to many previous features I had access to before. Essentially, my status has shifted until I'm able to reapply. We're all selfish beings. It's in our nature. We can't detangle ourselves from that. I think it's because deep down, we all want to feel like heroes. But if we're fighting for ourselves, we're alone. If we're fighting for something bigger, suddenly, we belong. I'm so truly moved by each one of you. You are my heroes. Thank you for restoring a piece of faith and hope in me that I hardly knew was missing. Community is the most powerful thing we have. Truly, it's all we have, and I'm grateful to be in a circle with you. Thank you. Yours truly, Mia. More videos out this week, guys. I owe you like three videos because I've been traveling a lot the past few weeks. So I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna tell you. It's not gonna be a surprise. I'm doing a Black History Month video to end the month, and then a boyfriend tag video 
So um, those are coming up, and then we'll get to more creative things again. But I hope you like my visual poem. Um, I hope you like this letter to you. And thank you, thank you, thank you again from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys so much. And you make um, life worth living, truly. That's what people are for us. It would be lonely if not. So I love you guys. Have a wonderful week. Bye. Thank you again.